Alright, I got a J250, 54 millimeter mother mount. There's a little lift there, but. Sterling started out in high power rocketry with a NAR Junior Level 1 certification. This required him to take a written test, build a high power rocket by himself, as well as fly and recover his rocket with no damage, or at least in a condition that it could immediately fly again. Once he turned 18, his Junior Level 1 certification was automatically upgraded to a Level 1 certification. He built this Lock Precision Patriot a few years ago with the intent that it would be his Level 2 rocket. Today is the day. With the Aerotech J250 motor inserted into the 54mm motor mount, it is time to fly. We would like to take you through his Level 2 certification experience. Okay. Before he can fly, yep. he had to take another written test. At our club, yep. this can be taken during the monthly meeting or at the flight. Okay. He had to make arrangements with the NAR advisor in our club for testing. Once he had passed the test, all that remains is the flight. His rocket must pass inspection by the NAR advisor prior to the flight. The advisor will likewise observe the flight and inspect the rocket after recovery to ensure that he has met all the requirements for level 2 certification. I want to see what's inside. Uh, so <laughs> that was loud. Howdy. That's my level At the RSO table, the range safety officer inspects his rocket again to be certain it is ready for a safe flight. He is assigned a pad and all that remains is to send it up and away. Watch out, you're gonna get a rocket in your okay. So, okay, let's see what we got here. And we've repaired all the other ones. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right there. Yeah, the like pressure is 18.4 yeah. inches. Thank you. But it's somewhere really right big. there. Yeah, yeah. I know. You can build a bigger rocket. Very cool. Maybe it's a fifth flight. Your pipe and the new shear pins, right? Uh, I know. It's so, yeah, it's a electronic yeah, connection yeah, yeah. right here, so they're okay. separate right there. Those are permanently yeah. tight, yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. Where do I go to get my J250. Okay. All right. So you're going to be on next round. You're going to be on. You need buttons, right? All buttons. Yeah. So you're going to be I3. Okay. Yeah. Has a locked Patriot. I got to watch this one. This is level two. There's a level two cert flight. Jed's looking at it. This is on a J250. Pad I3 Sterling. Going in five, four, three, two, one. That was awesome. It's a yellow shoot. Got a shoot. Yeah, I see it's shoot. Okay, last but not least, Justin Van, a scratch-built rocket he calls MC2. It's orange and green on I-4. This is on an H-550. This is a, is a uh, yeah. TRA yeah, certification it's flight. It's tangled, yeah. It's Neil or Brad, did you watch it? Open. Come on. This first flight was unsuccessful. The rocket deployed the parachute too early. This caused the shroud lines to tear and the rocket descended too rapidly. The violent motion of the descent also tore the nose cone off the rocket, where it was held in place by three heavy plastic rivets. The rivets survived, the superglue reinforced cardboard did not. It would be easy to be disappointed in these results, but we remember that failure is only feedback. We went home and made some repairs to the rocket. We used 30-minute epoxy to permanently affix the nose cone to the Patriot's payload bay. We also put on a larger and stronger parachute. The next morning, the NAR advisor again inspected the rocket. The RSO gave approval, and he sent it up again. Sterling Ness, Patriot, going on a J-250.
6,000 feet. This is a certification for flight. It is, for Jed. Oh, you are. Oh, yep, I'm on. Okay. Uh, Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jed, you're good. That is way up there. There's an event. Yeah, shoot down that airplane. He's got a shoot release on it. Yeah, you're good. I see it. I see the silver nose cone. Yeah, when it when the nose cone glitters, you can see it. Should pop it 700 feet. Yep. Now there's a parachute. It's got a drogue chute, but or it's got a chute, but it's got a chute release of bundles until 700. Then it should open up there. Positive thinking, Jed. We hope. After all my recent successes. <laughs> hey, Sterling, you got it? Okay, there. Now, you're going to land right by Will. There you go. Over the club trailer. Over the club trailer coming down. Just past where Will just was. Not too far. No, that's not bad. Yeah. I think it's the other side, just barely. But hey, he's got a nose cone this time. And yeah, I see all the parts on there. And it's coming down on a nice shoot. You need to sniff it, make sure it's been launched. <laughs> Smells bad. Right. The NAR advisor confirmed right. a successful flight, and Sterling was handed a temporary level two card. His permanent card will arrive in the mail in a few weeks' time. Congratulations.